Now this, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, said that it's possible that the U.S. will try to coordinate with the Taliban on counterterrorism strikes in Afghanistan. Roll tape here. As far as our dealings with them at that airfield or in the past year or so, in war, you do what you must in order to reduce risk to mission and force, not what you necessarily want to do. Any possibility of coordination against ISIS-K with them? It's possible. All right, let's bring in Congresswoman Lisa McLean, Republican from Michigan. Congresswoman, great to see you this morning. Um, should the United States even be having this conversation with terrorist organizations? I'm glad you said that because you said it accurately. Look at how far this, this administration has fallen in the short period of time. We are now talking about subserving to the Taliban, a terrorist organization. We now have to rely on a terrorist organization to get our people out of Afghanistan. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. It is. It really is. It's crazy. It's shocking. You think about how the administration planned this withdrawal and they made every mistake possible. Now you've got roughly 100 people. If that number is accurate, 100 Americans that are left, you've got Afghan partners that are left as well. And you essentially have to rely on the goodwill of the Taliban to be able to get them out. I don't see this scenario playing out well. It's not going to play out well. In fact, think about it. We have to deal with the Taliban to get the Americans out? I don't think so. I think there's a much better execution plan. And this is one where if the government would just get out of the way, I think we'd be a heck of a lot better. This is an example of failed leadership. And in times of crisis, this is a time for leaders to lead, to, to show some strength, show some Americanism, and lead, and we've seen anything but this from the American organization, from the uh, from this um, from this administration. President Biden doesn't answer questions, turns his back on on America. Uh, Jen uh, Jen Psaki refuses to answer questions. Listen, if you're in a position of leadership, it is your right, it is your responsibility, and it is your duty to lead. And unfortunately, that comes with answering some questions, making some tough calls. It is not dealing with the Taliban. And I'm going to share with the American people, the Taliban is a terrorist organization. They are not built better, new, and improved. Yeah. They are a terrorist organization. Please, for the love of all things holy, let's not forget that. Yeah, well, the leadership is, is a huge issue here. And you've got our allies around the world essentially looking at us and the Taliban looking at us and saying, yeah. what, what's going on here? I mean, what's going on with the United States? We look weak. Congresswoman America, the first time, looks weak. Congresswoman, I also want to ask you this, because you're leading a bipartisan push to award congressional gold medals for the 13 U.S. troops that were killed in Kabul. 13 troops, I may add, that had this whole with, uh, withdrawal process been carried out differently may not have lost their lives. How many members have signed on so far? Well, I'm, I'm pleased to say that over 200 members, both Republicans and Democrats, have signed on to this bill to honor the 13 soldiers that paid the ultimate sacrifice. Um, in a lot of, uh, in times today, we see a lot of partisanship. And this is one where both sides of the aisle agree that it's that we need to keep their memory alive. And that's what this that's what yeah. this bill intends to do. We do indeed. Congresswoman, thank you so much. Great to see you this morning. Have a good weekend. Thank you.